Rally in Melbourne. I was very proud to be at the counter rally in Melbourne uh, because I have learnt from history that this is not a new phenomenon, that we know that when there are cultural tensions and language of cultural division that opportunistic people exploit them in order to promote their own causes. And I'm speaking specifically about neo-Nazism and fascism which are horrible words to have to say in Australia. But we, like any country, has an extremist element. We have an extremist element on the very far right. They are tiny, but they're feeling quite emboldened by a lot of divisive language that's been used against particularly the Muslim community. And in the debate around asylum seekers, there has been, unfortunately, a lot of racist commentary, and that has given the extreme right, the far right, the confidence to put on a little bit of a public show. Tell me, what was the, the rally like from your perspective? Because the, the question seems to be saying that both sides were responsible for problematic behaviour, including the flag burning. Well, absolutely. I don't engage in flag burning and I wouldn't. I attended the counter protest in my capacity as a, a citizen who's very passionate about multiculturalism and inclusion. I certainly don't in, at ever any point endorse violence as a means of political engagement. In fact, I was there to put my body in front of neo-Nazis and fascists and to stop the spread of their ideas. Because what we've learnt from history and the incident I always recall is the one in 1936, the Battle of Cable Street, where where the Jewish community and the progressive community in London banded together to stop a march of Ozzy Mosley's black shirts through the streets of London. And it was their action in 1936, which many people attribute to, the, to stopping the spread of organised fascism in Britain, because the fascists were humiliated, like the cowards they are, they retreated. And it was an incredible victory for progressive people and humanity worldwide. So that's why I was there. I will not stand for fascism. And I think we should all be unambiguous in our condemnation of it. I'm just going